what is going on everybody hopefully y'all can hear me so today i am just going to go ahead and continue with the rune word series for median xl why because i like median xl and i give zero fucks on if anybody doesn't like median xl so i'm just gonna go ahead and keep on doing what i'm doing so let's just go ahead and continue here pick up right where we left off i believe the last thing we did was actually scythes so let me um pull this up real quick that's the background music for you guys rune words all right yeah so we're gonna pick up with daggers so the first one we're gonna talk about is storm quill this one you need a zod and a dull rune which really isn't that bad again i know i've said this in previous videos but it is much easier to get yourself a zod rune in this version of diablo 2 than it is in pretty much any other version of Diablo 2. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's way, way easier to play this version of D2 because there's also, I think it's like almost 40 other runes above Zod that you can get as well. So this one, Storm Quill, is going to give you, well, first I should tell you it's Druids only, and it's going to give you 20%, 25% combat speeds. That's 10 to 20. 250 damage it adds 100 to 150 lightning damage it adds negative 15 to 20 percent enemy lightning resistance it adds plus 120 to 150 percent enhanced damage 10 percent to summon minion life 15 life after each kill two percent reanimate as random monster which just means there is a two percent chance for a monster to come back to life and fight by your side so if that is something you as a druid feel like you might want to use then once again that was storm quill you can find it here on the median xl website and you can go ahead and make that self for you you can go ahead and make that for yourself today so it is four in the morning forgive me but i am a little bit tired so that might be why i am misspeaking but f it because it is what it is so now we are going to look at thunder talons this is also a dagger drew it only again it's going to take a light rune and a pole rune now if you don't know how to make a light rune you get a rune stone and then a light essence you put them together and it creates a light rune there you go so the pole rune is not the p-u-l version it is the p-h-u-l version so in other words, it is an enhanced rune, just so you know. Now, this will give you 100 to lightning damage per character level above 130, 50% hit recovery, that's pretty effing good, adds 100 to 140 to 160 damage, adds 25 to 30%, so negative 25 to 30% to enemy lightning resistance, adds plus 171 to 200 percent enhanced damage it's also going to give you 8 to 10 to earth talons obviously this is drew and only druid only full oh, hole oh, right seven percent to energy maximum lightning resistance plus two percent physical resist five percent and plus one life on striking also a pretty good rune word if you are a druid and you are not a really low level because you need to be like at least 110 to utilize this but still a good one nonetheless after that we're gonna have king's blood and now to make this rune word you are going to need a vez rune and a low rune and yes i said vez not vex that is the enhanced version of a vex rune which is v-e-z just making sure we all understand this. This gives you 3 to 4 to all skills. Effing fantastic. 20% cast speed. 15% block speed. 167 to minimum damage. 32 to 42% life stolen per hit. Which is mind boggling good. Like holy crap bro. Uh, 32 to 42% life stolen per hit. I love it. 200% enhanced damage, 61 to 80 to all attributes, maximum block chance of plus 5%, 
7% to experience gained, which you will really need if you're really trying to make it up to 150 in median XL. If you are, good luck. If you make it there, put a comment down below because you, sir, are a god. I'm not joking. Also, it gives you plus three to light radius. So that was daggers, and that was king's blood, which is a very good rune word. I have used it before myself, and it is freaking fantastic. So the next one is going to be maces and scepters. There was only one rune word for maces and scepters. Not exactly sure why they went this route, but they went this route. And uh, I don't make the game, so I can't really say anything about it. It's called Dehe. I don't know how to say that. It is D-E-M-H-E, Demhe, I guess. Um, you need a Zod rune and a Lu rune, which is L-E-W. L-E-W, again, an enhanced rune. And it will give you 25% chance to cast a level 35 infected roots on melee attack. 126 to 250 to maximum damage it'll give you a stun attack it'll give you 172 to 200 percent enhanced damage 39 to 45 percent to cold spell damage 39 to 45 percent to enemy cold resistance which is great always love the affix of negative resistance for anything Give me that on every item and I'll be so happy. <clears throat> um, it's also going to give you 39 to 45% to your poison spell damage, negative 39 to 45% to your enemy poison resistance, 20% to vitality, 51 to 125 mana on striking, 15 life after each kill so it actually is a really good rune word too almost every single rune word in median xl is very helpful for you which is part of the reason why i like median xl so much is because i feel like they really tried they understand their game in some diablo 2 mods it feels more like they understand diablo 2 but they don't understand what they themselves are trying to do. Median XL realizes and understands that Median XL, although Diablo 2 is there as a base, it isn't Diablo 2. It almost feels like if they had actually made like a Diablo 2 director's cut or something like that, or maybe maybe you could put it like this if diablo 2 kept getting dlc for like six or seven years after diablo 2 came out it would probably look a lot like median xl which is part of the reason why i like it now you can also go out and play um, project diablo 2 which is pretty cool but the one thing i've always felt median xl had a jump on compared to project diablo 2 is the fact that Project Diablo 2 just started coming out with new bosses and stuff and everyone's like praising them and being like holy crap man Project Diablo 2 they added bosses this is crazy you know like this is so good bro it's been like that in Median XL for years you have if you haven't played Median XL which I don't know why you would be here at this point of the video if you've never played Median XL but if you haven't it's been like that for years with Median XL. That's one thing I've always felt that Median XL has always had above Project Diablo 2 is all the extra content that they have added to the game. There's almost literal whole acts. You know, there, there's whole new cities. There's you could go to the high heavens. It's only a small portion of the high heavens, but I mean, I mean, they have loot goblins in Median XL. You know, you can fight Asmodan in Median XL. You can fight Lilith in median xl yeah and i know you could do that in diablo 2 but the sprite's been altered in median xl it looks way better moral of the story is median xl has in my opinion been above and far and away the leader in mods for diablo 2 even before project diablo 2 like started getting 
its fame. And I'm not trying to like bash Diablo or Project Diablo 2. It's still a good mod. It is. And I understand that the people that like Project Diablo 2 are usually people that want the basic Diablo 2 feel without anything too crazy. I mean, that's great and all, but me personally, like, I want to play more Diablo 2, which is why I like Median XL. Sorry for my little rant, guys. Um, let's move on to Stabs. So the first one, this is one of my favorites because I usually play as a sorceress. And if I'm not playing as a sorceress, I will play as an assassin. But Pax Mystica definitely has always been I make this right away every single time I play as a sorceress in Median XL. All you need is a turret rune. It's going to give you plus one to skills, plus seven percent to spell damage, two to five to blink. Elemental resist of 11 to 15 percent and 11 to 13 percent magic find so that you can start finding all the things that you need to get your build up and going because we all know there's usually an engine in your build and that engine needs to be purring before you have any chance of actually going out there and demolishing some demons up next we have a hat ad it's h-a-d-a-d -A -D, i know weird but that's what it is Ort rune and a dull rune, another one that's really easy to make. And this is going to give you 5% chance to cast level 13 lightning shield when struck, which is cool. 2 to all skills, 0.25 to lightning spell damage, this will be based on your character level, negative 10% to enemy lightning resistance, again, freaking love that one. I'm total affix whore, I guess you could call me, and I love negative 10% to enemy lightning resistance. Easily the best. You also get four, no, I'm sorry, one, two, four to supernova. You get plus 10% to summon minion life. You get lightning resistance of plus 30%, and you get attacker takes lightning damage of 100 to 150. Let me stop for a second there. I love this. This is something you don't really see in regular Diablo 2 much at all. They usually tend to keep their numbers pretty low. I like the fact that this rune word makes it so that if someone attacks you, they just instantly take 100 to 150 damage of, of lightning damage. I don't know, I just think it's cool, especially if you're playing as a lightning source. I guess in my own mind, if I'm sitting there thinking, okay, I'm role playing this game, if I'm a lightning source, it makes sense that if someone hit me, boom, right? Burst of lightning comes out and just kills them. So it just adds a little bit more depth to it, in my opinion, in terms of an RPG. You also get 10% weapon damage taken, restores mana. So that's cool. So up next, we have Ezdana. So that's, uh, I'm not gonna, well, look, you can see it, guys. I know y'all are, aren't stupid. All right, so this gives you a Sir rune, an Elm rune, and an Ohm rune. That's what you need, is what I should be saying. And for that one, not an Um, an Ohm. Apologize. If so, if you are listening to this right now, instead of looking at the screen, I just screwed up. Let me do this one more time for you, because I'm not trying to edit the bejesus out of this, because it is so late. I need to go to bed. <laughs> I spent all night, man, looking for a freaking dimensional shard. Could not find one. I'm talking about like the orb, you know, the elite orb for the sorceress. Could not find one all night and was looking for an Archon um, staff. Could not find one all night in Diablo 2 Reimagined. So that's kind of why I'm just doing this right now real quick. So anyways, one more time. It's going to be Sir Rune, Um Rune, and an Ohm Rune. Okay, this is going to give you 6 to 7 to Druid skill levels. Like, holy crap. Yeah. So you could use this on a druid. 45% hit recovery, 30 to 40% to poison spell damage, negative 10 to enemy poison resistance, again, the best. 50 to 60% to summon minion life, 70 to 80% to summon minion damage, 50% to summon minion resistances, 100 to 200 to life, Maximum mana plus 40%, regenerate mana plus 15%, 
and elemental resist plus 60. That's all elemental resistances. You cannot use this until level 75, but it is elemental resistances of 60%. So up next, oh, by the way, that was Eusdana. I guess I will say I'll pretend like I am French for this moment. Oh, okay. So next we have um, Elver Folk. So this one, to make this, all you need is a Cham Rune, an Ist Rune, and a Vex Rune, which really is not that hard to find once again. And this is going to give you 7 to 8 to all skills, 60 to 80 to spell focus, 35% cast speed, negative 27 to 33 to enemy elemental resistances, 750 defense versus missiles, also 21 to 30% to energy, maximum life and mana, plus 5%, elemental resist, 35 to 45%, 31 to 40% bonus to defense, and also 10% magic find just to make it a little bit sweeter. So that was Elverfolk, and that is an also a great one that I have used myself. You gotta love that 7 to 8 to all skills right there, which is the main reason why I would be using that, especially because by level 83, which is the level you need to make this, yeah, around that time I'm probably finishing up hell. Usually around uh, 83, yeah, I'm finishing up hell. I try to do some of the rifts, but the thing is that some of them are locked, like, I think you can't even fight the Butcher until, what is it, guys, like 105? Or is it 125? I think it's 105. So, yeah, usually around the end of Hell, and then I go and I just kind of level up and start playing through Hell over and over again, looking for runes and stuff. And, um, yeah, so the next one, um, Lejosolf. So that's uh, L-J-O-S-A-L-F. And this one, you will need two ums. No, I'm sorry. Apologize, guys. One um rune and two gall runes now not the regular ones you need the enhanced ones actually no these are the ones that are found um there's an area where god man let me look for it guys it's been a minute since i've been there let's just look for it real quick so i don't have to sit here and say oh you know it's an area where there's like all of these robots let's just find it real quick for you you know what i'm talking about i believe it is a rift Let's look here. Fawtsonville, yes, it is Fawts. So when you get to Fawtsville, you start finding um, great runes is what they are, okay? All right, cool. Those are great runes that you get in Fawtsonville, or Fawts. We just call it Fawts usually. All right, let's get back over to the rune words here. Trying to do it as quick as possible. So I don't really have to do too much editing here. Because I know only like, uh, only like hardcores, right? Like me are probably even going to be watching this anyway. So it's all good. Get back up there. Okay. So yes. So we were at the Jolfs. So this one you need an um, and you also need two Gaul runes. G-H-A-L. That's going to be very hard for you to find. Good luck. That's all I can really say. Good luck. You, for this, you get a 100% chance to cast level 60 Bloodstar on Death Blow. You get 8 to 10 to all skills. You get plus 50 to spell focus. You get 100, no, I'm sorry, 0 0.625 to fire spell damage based on character level. 46 to 49 to Bloodstar. 250 life regenerated per second, which sounds like a lot, but again, in median, it really isn't. Also, you get elemental resist of 82 to 86%. You get 101 to 200 life when struck by an enemy. And that is it for that one. We are moving on to burning contagion. So this one, you need a poison rune, a fire rune, a vex rune, and the enhanced tur rune, which is T-Y-R rune. This is for sorceresses only. So I love this one. I'm just saying, 12% uh, to cast level 42, I'm sorry guys, 12% chance to cast level 42 flame font on death blow when below 80% life, 8 to 10 to sorcerer skill levels, 
Holy effing crap, bro. 8 to 10 to sorcerer skill levels. Now, again, I know that probably does sound like an absurd amount of skills, but when you're getting into the end game of median, even that's not going to be enough to get you through the dimensional labyrinth, man. And if, if you're watching this series of videos and you've heard me talk about dimensional labyrinth, and you don't know what it is because for some reason you're just bored and you're watching these and you've never played it. If you want a challenge in Diablo, get through the Dimensional Labyrinth. For real. Good luck with that. I will see you in about two or three years, depending on your skill level in Diablo. So after that, you also get 40 to 50 to spell focus. You get 40% cast speed. Then you get negative 40 to 50% to enemy fire resistance. You get plus 50 to 60% to poison spell damage. You get physical resist of 5%. And you also get 25 to 35% magic find. Now, let me take a moment again to point something out. Physical resist of 5% is extremely important in median XL. So, Physical resist, you need that. You need physical resist and you need magic resist if you want any chance of getting through even Scott's Glen, for example. Yeah, you can go to Scott's Glen in this. Remember Scott's Glen from uh, Diablo 4? If you've never played Median XL, then you've probably only heard about it through Diablo 4. Or if you are a lore junkie of Diablo, you might have heard it through some of the books like the Sin War and whatnot. But yeah, you can actually go to Scott's Glen in this version of the game and it is freaking awesome. So after that, we have Dream. I've never even been able to make this one. I have tried. I eventually just gave up because you need two light runes. All right, you need a Gaul rune, but it's gonna go Light Gaul, which is the enhanced rune from Fots. And that one is actually G-H-A-L, just making sure I'm emphasizing that so you don't screw up and put something else in there you shouldn't have put in. So let's just take that from the top in case you are listening to this while you're at work and you're bored and you don't comprehend what I'm saying. It's Light Rune, Gall Rune, the G-H-A-L version, Light Rune, and then an enhanced Nif Rune, which is N-I-F. So what does this give you? This gives you Holy Shock, which is fantastic. Nearby enemies take... 1,200, so 1,200 lightning damage every 1.2 seconds. 1% damage per 7 energy, and you also get 16.6 yard radius. And what I mean by that is there is a 16.6 yard radius on that damage. Excuse me, guys. Again, I am very tired. So you get 4, no, 3 to 4 to all skills. 75 to 100 to spell focus, 75% cast speed, you get 40 to 50 to lightning spell damage, you also get negative 20 to 25% to enemy lightning resistance, you can also get 32 to 36 to supernova, 500 to mana, 20 to 25% weapon damage taken, restores mana, and 25 to 30% magic find. Now, that might seem like a really big rune word, right? What if I told you it wasn't? Because it's not. In Median XL, man, like, see, this is a give and take because some people are going to be like, bro, this is too complicated. Dude, there is too much going on in this game. They need to, like, you know, minimalize it and make it way more streamlined. And then there's going to be the other side, which I'm, I'm like mask off 100% with you. I'm on the other side because some of my um, items, by the time I was done with them, man, would have like almost like full pages, right, of, of affixes because you can put those jewels in there and make a rune word on it too. So to me, this isn't even that big of a rune word, man. You know, sometimes I feel like I could give a full, like, dissertation on, like, freaking Median XL because, you know, it's just like, holy crap, dude, you know, like, I could give you a page of affixes and you'd be like, wow, dude, that's a, wow, how many rune words is that? Oh, that's, um, that's my sword. Yeah. And by what? I'm like, yeah, that's my sword. 
And usually about that time, they tell me I have a very unhealthy obsession with Diablo. Anyways, we're going to move on to Scepters. We have quite a bit to get through. Well, let me take a look here. My goal is to try to get to Amazon Bows. Hmm. But it looks like I've been talking for about 25 minutes and scepter. We have scepters to get through. We got throwing knives and we got throwing axes. Um, okay, you know what? I'm going to save those three for the next video. I'm going to go ahead and edit a little bit on this one and get it out there so that I can keep that series going. And then next time you guys see me, we're going to talk about scepters. We're going to talk about throwing knives and throwing axes. And after that, we're going to start finally getting to some of the fun stuff, which is the build specific rune words, or I should say the class specific rune words, because those are a whole lot of fun. So if you enjoyed this video, I appreciate you guys. And uh, if everything here works out well, you're probably listening to this three years in the future and you got like a six hour long median XL rune word essay that you get to listen to while you're bored of work. I really hope to God there's at least one person out there someday that that like leaves a message, right? Like years from now or even in a, in a month or a week or whatever. That's like, bro, I was so bored of work today. I loved your videos. I loved like sitting there and listening to all that. It gave me something to do and to focus on so I didn't have to focus on this crap ass job because that's literally what I used to do. And that was the best feeling in the world, man when I'd be able to find something and just be able to listen to it while I'm doing my freaking work and be like, man, you know what? That was a pretty good day. I actually had fun. Cool. All right, guys. Late.